Hello guys and welcome back to Learn Coding Skills. This is the third video in the series Football in Python and today we're going to be looking at how we can take data from matches and display them onto MPL soccer pitches. So in the first video in the series we looked at how to create pitches. In the second one we looked at how to get data for matches and in this one we're going to be combining both of those skills together to be able to display passes onto a pitch. We're only going to need two imports for this video which are right now. So from stats bomb pi import sb and then from mpl soccer import pitch. Those are the only ones we need and let's just make sure that they import properly. Yep there we go. So I'm going to try my best to explain everything that's going on but if there's something where you need more detail then you can check out one of the previous football in python videos or you can go to the documentations which i'll link in the description so let's get straight into it so we get events from a match using sb dot events and let's save that to an events variable but we need to put in a specific match id so I'm going to use the one we used in the last video, which was the Liverpool vs Spurs Champions League final 2019. So the ID for that is 22912. Let's make sure that works. Okay, cool. Let's just check the events. So yeah, as you can see, we have a lot of not a number values here. And that's because we're on the free version, but it's enough for us to get all the past data. So it's okay. And for reference, I'm going to output the event columns so that we can always come back to here to to see all the different types of, well, not different types of events, but all the things related to events. But yeah, what we want to focus today on today is the past events. So let's get them now. So past events equals events, and then we'll put a double square brackets. And in here, we'll list out all the different columns that we want. So let's say we want we want team, uh, we want type of event, we want the location. So this is the location where the event starts. And then we want pass end location. And then I guess we'll put in player as well. So yeah, let's just see what comes out of that. And also let's in fact put it like this. So we get the first 30 events. So yeah, as you can see, we're not just getting past events, but we're also getting other events like starting 11 and half start, which we don't want. So to filter that out, we can enter past events equals pass events pass events again and then we can enter the type of event that we want so we want pass so we'll just put in uh, type equals equals pass and then yeah you get all the passes now all the passes throughout the whole game what I want to do is I don't want to be showing both teams. I'm just going to show Liverpool's passes. So let's create Liverpool pass events. We're just going to filter it like how we did before. So pass events and then pass events again. And put in team and then equals equals Liverpool. And then let's just check that everything is working properly. Uh, needed closing bracket here. There's an error. Oh, I see. This should not be in here. It should be like that. Okay, there we go. So yeah, now we have all the past events for Liverpool, but what we really need is this location here, this location column and the pass end location. So let's work on extracting these. So let's begin with the start locations, which is this column. Start locations. 
equals LP pass events and then I'm going to grab the location and convert that to a list. So this function here to list allows us to convert data frame columns into Python list. There's also two NumPy as well. I'll show you both of them, but let's just output this first. And yeah, there we go. Now I'll show you to NumPy as well. I think I have to put in a underscore to NumPy. And yeah, there we go. We get a NumPy array. But I'm not going to use this because it's a bit more awkward since it's an array full of lists. So I'm just going to use to list. And that also saves us from having to import another library as well. So now I'll just repeat the same thing for end locations. There we go. So the way these locations work is that this here is an X, an X coordinate, and then this is a Y coordinate. So when we get to the pitches, it will be easier to demonstrate what I mean. But now the next thing we need to do is we need to take all the X's and put them into their own array or list and take all the Y's, put them into their own lists as well for both the end, uh, for both the start and the end locations. So yeah, let's do that now. So what I've done here is I've taken all the first index for all the locations in start locations and saved it to a variable called start x. And yeah, now I'll repeat the process for start y, uh, end x and end y. And yeah, there we go. We got all of them now. So yeah, now that we've got all of that, we can start making the pitch finally. So yeah, I'm going to create a pitch just like I did in the first episode. And then I want to set the pitch color to green, just so it looks nice and realistic. And then fig x equals pitch dot draw. And yeah, there we go. Now let's get the data onto the pitch. So we're going to use x dot scatter. We're going to use this twice. We're going to use it for the start x, the start y. And another one for the end x and the end y so this will represent the start of the pass and the end of the pass so to make this easier to understand i'm just going to put one point on there first for both the start location and the end location okay let's see what this looks like okay there we go we've got actually this might not be the best one to show because it seems like it's a kickoff so you only showed the end I think okay, let's try a different one okay, I'm not sure why but it only wants to show the end ah okay so after some diagnosis I've realized the issue so I've entered location twice so here is supposed to be pass end location so now let's go back and let's run all cells okay there we go Let's try it with the first element again. Okay, yes, there we go. So this is the first pass basically. It's from here to here. And now let's put all the passes on at the same time. So all of Liverpool's passes. And yeah, there we go. But obviously this is not very useful like this because we don't know which pass is which. For example, we don't know if this person passed it over here or if he passed it over here or here. So what we can do is we can put a line between each pass to show the passes. So we're going to use the axe.plot function. And the way we need to pass in the, um, the list is like this, like that. So let's do for i in range the length of star x it can be any of them since they're all the same length and then x dot plot we want star x uh end x 
and then start y end y uh let's make color equal to yellow actually we need to put the eyes in here and yeah let's see how that works there we go so now we actually know which pass is which so if we go down here we know that this person passed it to this person over here see that this person passed over here and yeah it's just way better to visualize and we actually understand what's going on so yeah, one more thing to understand is that zero zero starts up here so if we look at let's say 34 and 43.8 then that's going to be so zero starts here and then it ends at 120 here uh let me write out or print out the variables so pitch dot dim dot write print pitch dot dim dot bottom oh. there we go and yeah so the length is 120 and the width is 80 so something like 34 and 43.8 so it'd be 34 along this way and then 43.8 along this way so if we have something that's 120 and 80 that'll be right here so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it was understandable if there was parts that didn't make much sense then either go back to the videos that i've made before or check out the documentation or just ask in the comments and yeah please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it if there's anything more you want to see from any of these libraries then yeah let me know that as well thanks for watching